It's three weeks from Election Day, but Madison County voters are already choosing between two candidates for county judge through absentee voting. Bradley Moses, the only name listed on the ballot, but whose drug overdose resulted in the Republican, conservative, and Democratic parties all endorsing the same write-in candidate, Rhonda Youngs. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan is in Madison County, where this race is unlike any other. Before Rhonda Youngs can earn a vote, she has to teach people how to cast it. All the way down to that bottom box which says write in. Her name not printed on the ballot. She wasn't running when the deadline passed. Before the listed candidate Bradley Moses overdosed on drugs, as police claim. Honestly, what my opponent does or does not do, it, it doesn't really factor in to my day to day and how I'm moving forward. I'm just putting myself forward and my qualifications and my experience. To be a judge, you've, you've got to have the experience, um, certainly, but you also have to have the character and the reputation and the support of your peers in order to do that job. The closest Young's got to attacking her opponent in our conversation, a much softer tone than calling Moses unfit for the job on her website and in flyers mailed to voters, including the Moses House. People are sick of the politics of personal destruction. Um, I know that I'm a good person. Um, good people make mistakes. Moses' challenge ahead, rebuilding his reputation while he's campaigning. The incident has technically disqualified you from being an assistant district attorney. You no longer have that job. You've resigned as the uh, president of the Bar Association. Why doesn't this disqualify you from being elected judge? Well, judges bring with them their life experiences to the bench. This is now one of my life experiences and will be for the rest of my life. Um, you know, I think I'm, I know that I'm the best person for this job. I got to the point where I was unopposed, that I had been endorsed by the Republican and Conservative Party, and the Democratic Party didn't even, you know, choose to run anyone against me because of my experience and because of my reputation in the legal community. This one event doesn't erase that. The choice? Now up to the voters. In Madison County, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.